quickly a, a review of our our performance from yesterday in Cleveland due to a, a contributions of really of, of all parties involved. If you look at what we're able to do offensively, I thought we were able to mix it, run and pass, and, and, and have success in both. I thought that allowed us um, to, to, to aid us in keeping our quarterback clean uh, and protection of the football. Defensively, it was simple. We were able to stop the run. It, it put us in position to apply pressure to the quarterbacks, and, and in doing so, we were able to create some turnovers and some big plays and actually and score. I'm not surprised by anything that Will does. Will and I go back over a decade. Uh, I was secondary coach in Tampa when we drafted him in 04. Um, he's a low-maintenance guy. Uh, he's a high-energy guy. He's a team guy. He's willing to do whatever. Um, there's probably not many 10-year veterans that run down on kickoffs in the NFL. It's something that he embraces. Um, he's a good teammate because of it. I say the same things every week when you guys ask me about no huddle. We go through a checklist of things that, that we do, and if it provides an advantage for us in a number of fashions, and we'll do it continually. Um, but there are a myriad of things that could affect the usage of no huddle or, or the, or the non-usage of no huddle, and uh, we'll prepare accordingly. Uh, we're working on a short week. Uh, we're not going to make that an excuse. It's a short week for them as well. We're excited about really playing uh, on Thanksgiving and being a part of that. Um, like a lot of people, man, I grew up in a household where Thanksgiving football uh, is ingrained in the holiday and shared family experience. It's an honor to really kind of be a part of that and entertain uh, and, and, and pursue victory at the same time.